What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today, as always. And when I say that, please don't underestimate what I mean. I seriously, I mean that. I mean that I'm really, really happy. Like, I say this every now and again because I just want to, like, let people know. But I remember what it was like to post a video and sit and stare at it when it had zero views. You know, and know that what you were sharing was being seen by nobody. And it's really, really cool. It's, sincerely, it's super awesome to know that I've got people that are interested in spending some time with me every day because that's how I think about it. We can increase the size of our house for $50,000. That's a little expensive for my blood. What farm buildings can we upgrade? Because I am down with the farm buildings. A big barn. That will take us 450 wood and 200 stone. That allows our animals to give birth and it allows us access to, I think, goats? And goats would be pretty cool. We could go with a big coop and get ducks, but I'm not feeling ducks. Ducks are filthy, disgusting animals, so no thank you. we got to select a barn to upgrade here. Now, I may keep this entirely for cows, although expanding our repertoire might be a decent idea. And then I could chop down these trees over here and maybe put in a second barn on this side and then upgrade it specifically for goats. I kind of want to keep them separate from each other anyways. I don't think they're really mine. They're both herd animals, so I don't see them bothering each other or anything like that. But... Now, is this still a functional building? Like, can I go back and I can still, like, hustle with my cows or whatever? That's what I call it. That's the polite term for it. It's lonely out here. Don't judge me. It's so lonely being a farmer out here because I have yet to pick up a wife. Oh, yeah, that's why I kept my hoe with me. I knew there was some reason that I kept my hoe with me at all times while I was just walking down the street with my hoe all day every day, but apparently I forgot it. And so now... We're just going to be stuck hanging out, so I'm going to check tomorrow and see if that's accessible. We might be able to make more cheese production facilities. Might be a smart idea. Hmm. What would that cost me if I wanted to make more cheesy things? A seed maker. Place crops inside. That's probably a smart idea, too. But we would have to get down. Like, we would have to get down hard on... Hmm. Coal. We would need more coal. And unfortunately, we are quite coalless at the moment. Alright. Let's go back to the dungeon. We have no choice here. We gotta go back to the dungeon. We gotta get more coal. This has to be a very, very productive run for us. And I don't recall exactly where coal was the most prevalent. But it was on the floors with those little dust bunny looking things that were bouncing around. And then you smack them with a sword one time. They're like, oh god, I used to be a dust bunny. Now I'm solid coal. Weird physics take place in Stardew Valley. Nobody questions it, though. Ah! Problem solved. That was my impression. I don't know. I've spent a lot of time inside this game, and it's weird. You would think there would be, like, less conversational topics to talk about. But, frankly, it stays pretty consistent for me. There's, like, lots of stuff to talk about in life right now. I'm thinking about getting a new car at the moment. That's pretty fun. I don't have the money for it. So, really, it's kind of a poor choice. But I've got a friend who's into cars and stuff like that. Who spends a lot of time working on cars and just like flipping cars and things like that. And so he said he'd help me out with it. Oh good, I landed on the first good floor on my first try. Perfect. I don't really care about the iron. I'm not going to focus on it. Oh, we got an infestation lair. Okay. Well, I mean that's fine. We got to kill slimes for our slime quest. So I don't really care about that. He'll probably give us some pretty cool equipment or something if we can kill off all these slimes. we we'll get rid of some of these bats while I'm in the neighborhood too. There we go. That's what I like to see. It's weird how they're living in the walls right now. That kind of creeps me out a little bit. Trypophobia being what it is. Mm. I ain't reaching in there to grab a slime. Not me. I do want to make the slime castle too. I don't know what the slime castle does, but I kind of want it. It looks like a bounce house for slimes, which gets me excited. I'll just be in there just bouncing up and down all day long. My fiance and I have been trying to set up our wedding too. And so she sent me ideas and one of them was a bounce house at our wedding. I was like, that would actually be pretty baller. I think most people would enjoy that. They'd be like, oh shit, is that a bounce house? Well, it's time to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Dum, 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 dum. That's right. I'm from the Bay Area. I know all those tracks. I know them all by heart. We got all the E-40 albums up at my parties. You got you to gotta pander. You got to pander hard when you're in the Bay. Got that Andre Nicotina in there. Mm-hmm. Some of that Dub C, although he's SoCal, but we give him a pass. We consider him to be a Bay boy. We give him a big pass on that Dub C music. I'm going to go up to the top. Eh, don't really care about the courts. Could give less of a damn. You guys need to start dropping some coal. That's the only reason I'm down here is to kill you and your offspring and take your coal. And unfortunately, you are resisting my efforts to become a coal miner. 
Like, why don't you just get it from the stone like a normal human being instead of ending our lives? Uh, because it's an ignorant time we live in where we are allowed to just murder animals over and over and over again because they turn into coal. Your suffering means nothing to me because we haven't gotten that far yet. As far as social development goes, we don't consider you to have feelings or anything like that. You're just a dust puff to me. Like, wow, that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. Is that a big dust puff right there? I think that was a big dust puff. Apparently, they can grow to largesse. I don't know. Is that the word that I'm looking for? I don't know if that's the word that I was looking for. I'm going to Google that after the fact, and I'm going to feel dumb because it's not going to be the word that I thought it was. Oh, we got a dwarf scroll right there. Not that useful because it's not the one that we needed, I don't think. But maybe it'll work out for us. We're going to keep traversing these layers. No, not the ghostesses. Rut row. Get out of here, ghostesses. Ooh, essence of the sun and a ghost. The ghost had a ghost fish. The ghost had a ghost fish. Does he drive a ghost too? Because is ghosting really that good of a business right now? How does that pay out? Yeah, I'm thinking about getting a car. I don't know. My Cavalier, I don't drive very much, but my Cavalier is kind of beat ass at the moment, and I don't think it's going to hold out for much longer. And so I'm trying to I'm trying to do an upgrade right now. I was looking at like an 07 CTS. I, I was looking at it like an 07 CTS or like a Cadillac, or I'm sorry, a Chrysler 300 or I don't know. I like the LAC. I like the LAC a lot, but I'm gonna, I may go with the I may just go with the the Chrysler 300 because that's a little bit more in my price range. And then on top of that, I'm not trying to get it new. I'm trying to get something Preferably with like 50, 60,000 miles on it. Something that somebody's baby. Not like something that somebody's commuted in or anything like that. I don't know. And I definitely like my neighbor's got a my neighbor's got a Chrysler 300 that I'm always lusting after. I'm quite jealous of it. Not like in the real I want to kill you and take it from you type of way, but definitely I admire it loudly. Whenever he's outside, I make sure to comment on it because he keeps it crisp. Thinks that thing. like some people they keep their cars real real crisp and he's one of those people where he's got like the seats oiled and everything everything looks good ain't no dust inside of the car I frankly the reason my Cadillac I I'm sorry my Chrysler I, I don't have a Cadillac my Chrysler I don't know I should probably take better care of it that's probably why it's in such bad shape but it's the car that I've had for like 10 years now and honestly at this point it's like what's the use <laughs> That is a jade deposit. I will take that because I'm trying to get as many geological things while I'm down here. As many minerals and whatnot. As many rocks and things along the way that I can flip around. This is just too much iron ore to pass up. I might also be able to sell it at a decent cost. So maybe I should spend time grabbing it. This over here looks like it's going to be sapphire. No, aquamarine. I don't think... Have we seen sapphires in game yet? I don't know if we've seen sapphires so far. I like sapphires. I like emeralds better though. A real crisp emerald. An emerald that looks good is probably one of my favorite stones. That goes back to the color green infatuation that I have, though. I love, love, love the color green. My character right now in The Division, color green. Color green. Feel free to add me, though. I'm always looking for friends to play The Division with online. And I've had a chance to play with viewers over the course of the last week or so. I've been playing with the same consistent group. It's been a lot of fun. We've been able to, you know, just hang out and farm stuff and shoot the shit and talk and... It helps reinforce that I'm a human being, too. Like, I've noticed sometimes people put, like, YouTubers on a pedestal or something like that. And I, seriously, I'm a dude. I cut, like, three farts before I started this recording. Like, I'm not even lying to you right now. <laughs> like, I am not this dude that people make me out to be. I'm not that guy. Are there dust bunnies on these floors? And so I think it helps with that, too. Oh, they're on these floors, too. Okay, that's good. Purple dude's over here giving us that amethyst. There it is. All right. So far, I don't think that coal mining has gone so well for us. Coal cleaving. I'm going to call it coal cleaving. It's a little bit different than mining right now. What do these guys drop? I don't recall. They dropped something, but I think by and large they didn't drop anything. But yeah, jump on in. My username is Burning Azrael. All one word. And don't make fun of it. It's a username that I've had since I was in like seventh grade. It's stupid. And yet everything in my life is linked to it now, and so I can't escape from it. I can't have like an adult email address because I would have to reroute everything over to it. It's just too much work, and I don't care. I can't be stressed with it mm, was hoping we get something a little bit more satisfactory out of there it's almost eight o'clock we spent the entire day in the dungeon just trying to farm shit out and it did not go well for us perfect another kill right there we do need to kill skeletons for a quest too so i'm gonna do my best to stay on them when i see them ah an omni geode that's a pleasant little catch. That'll be something that'll hopefully unlock something nice for us. I don't know. We got quite a bit more stuff to do right now until we end up with the 
the sewer access, and so unfortunately, gotta fill up a few more museum tables before we get after that one. Cool. Alright, I think it's probably cool to go back up to the surface and just like chill for the rest of the day. I don't want to overdo it. Our character looks fragile. He's got those purple shoes on. It's hard for me to take him seriously when he got those purple shoes on. Rocking him. I got a white pair of shoes. Actually, my, my fiance is responsible for this. She made me a shoe addict. I used to not care about shoes. I just ride them until they had holes in the bottom, until the sole was falling off and everything else. And she taught me the, the value of a crisp, clean shoe. And so now I take care of my shoes a little bit better. I mostly rock Vans nowadays. I like the classic zips. I got those in a couple different colors. And that's more or less. If you haven't seen the classic zips, basically they're just like an old classic shoe style. They look a little bit like the Rowleys, but a tad different. But they got the, the leather, and then they just look like a normal Vans leather shoe. But they got a zipper on the side to help you get your foot in without having to untie every single time. And I like that a lot. Plus, the zipper looks hella clean on the side, depending on the color you get. I actually did not make that much money today. What did I sell right there? Oh, okay. We made most of our money off just random things that we're liquidating here. That's good, though. It's now officially the next day. So I'm going to take that darkness essence over to what's-his-name. Let me store... Actually, I'm going to sell a lot of this stuff because we don't need it anymore. And so, let's get in here. I'm going to sell a huge chunk of just like the minerals and stuff that I picked up down there just because I need the cash. The geodes will hold on to. That's stuff we don't really need. The jades we'll get rid of. And then we've got a couple of solar essences and things like that, but... Hold on to the oak resin for now. We're still going to need to farm out more coal. Unfortunately, we're at a phase right now where coal is super expensive for us. And we've just got to keep it locked down. We've got to have more coal in order to produce some of the things that make our lives easier. I think I may also spend some time today chopping wood and clearing out some of these areas so that we could put in the second barn. I, I would like to have another one. We can also buy some more cows once we... Oh, yeah. I got to go deal with my animals. Sometimes I forget that I have these furry little things that exist on my property that need to be dealt with. Sorry, feathery little things too. So far though, I like the way everything looks. I think we've got everything locked down really solidly. Got a bunch of eggs here today, which is pretty sweet. I think I just heard a knock on the door, so I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Postal service banging down my door just be like, ah, we have to deliver your fiance's shirt. Arr. Like, they really, really wanted to deliver that shirt. I don't think I've ever so desperately wanted somebody else to have a shirt ever in my entire life. I, I'm i having trouble thinking of times where I have felt that way. Chickens, come here. Let me pet you with my sword. I will pet you, chicken. It looks aight. Satan the chicken. Buckbeak the chicken. Bananas looks okay. It's alright. We don't all have to look like amazing all the time. Sometimes it's okay to just look alright. Not everybody could be at their best all the time. Oh, she's just going to be working inside of here. Okay, so that's good. That saves me a little bit of nervousness. Milk the cow, foo. Damn it. Oh my god. Damn it, cow. Hooflet has no milk right now. Did I only do... Hold on, what's going on here? There's only three here. Did I miss you? I missed somebody. Somebody gonna give up the milk. Damn it. So I guess she has no milk today. That's disappointing. I was hoping... Huh. Alright, well... She has no milk. She has no milk. I guess she's not pulling her weight, which means now she gets to be a beef cow. Hooray. I should probably grow that other crystal fruit. Oh, yeah. We need to go talk to the wizard. Ba, 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 ba. So the 1812 overture goes with everything, like the finale part. Like the ending of the 1812 overture goes with everything. It's like Guile's theme. 
We've been using it as a running joke in our Shadowrun campaign. But seriously, if you do like the ba 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 ba, it goes with everything. It's all about timing, though. It does go with anything, but you gotta time it right. You gotta time the crescendo and everything. Fortissimo! And all that kind of stuff. Mezzo fuerte! Had a conversation with my friend about Loteria yesterday, which was kind of weird. I never really had a conversation about Loteria before, but I, we were just talking about stuff. And it turns out he tattooed the card for the guy El Baracho, which if you've never played Lotaria before, it's kind of like bingo but with cards and pinto beans. And every card has like the moon on it or has like a drunk guy, so there's like La Luna. There's there's all kinds of stuff, El Baracho. There's there's tons of different cards, La Bota. There, there, there's lots of different things on the cards. And so people play it around here. I don't know. I just never talked with anybody about Lotaria before. It was just like this thing that it's been around since I was a kid and people play it. Oh yeah, we had a full conversation. He tattooed like the El Baracho thing with the guy that's drunk on the corner with the bottle and he's taking like the step and it looks like he's doing like a hardcore dance. We're talking about that and it turns out, oh my god, ah, you've brought it. You've earned my gratitude and a 1,000 gold reward. Now go. Leave me. I must study the severed implement of a random creature that you killed down in a dungeon for avarice and greed. Wouldn't that be kind of funny though if we infused it with like our greed? I can chop trees out here, can't I? Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I can. Why chop trees on my land when I can chop trees on your land? Everything has value. I mean, why deforest my land and make it look all shitty if I can just make yours look terrible? Hmm. Seems like a decent plan to me. For the Emperor. The Emperor wills it. Alright, so we'll drop that in right there. We'll drop that in right there. Gotta remove the evidence, though. You can't be leaving stumps all over the place. Then people start to get a little suspicious. And once they start getting suspicious, they start digging around and being like, Hey, who's chopping down all those trees out in the forest? I'm like, I'm totally not Figgle Farmer. He's not the guy that did it. Mm -mm, he's obviously not guilty. He's the most innocent. Just let the police a couple thousand gold. Just be like, hey, keep it on the DL. And they'll be like, oh yeah. Everybody loves a suitable arrangement. We got Holly over here. So we can have a Holly Jolly Christmas, apparently. Holly is not like an inviting plant, though. It always seems weird to me that like Christmas is about closeness and togetherness and family and all that kind of stuff. And then they chose Holly as the plant to represent it. And it's like this spiny, unhuggable plant. Like, why don't you pick something fluffy or something that's fun to play with, like ice plant? There you go, that's the perfect Christmas plant. Ice plant. Everybody loves ice plant. It's fun to step on, it's fun to squish, it's fun to like play around with. If we, if the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand my stock. A gift, thanks. Yep, I'm giving you all my gifts, because that's just the sort of happy, generous human being that I am. I gotta go get my, I gotta go get, I gotta go get my, my mayonnaise, because I gotta bribe more people to love me with the power of mayonnaise. Yeah, with Lotaria, it's a little bit different though. When like the Lotaria color, when they so basically they'll pull cards randomly, and that's how you do it. Is you you like arrange your little board, and then when he calls out whatever the pictogram is you have on your board, you put a bean on it. If you get them in a row, you win. It's just like bingo. And so, anyways, it's a little bit different though because a Lotaria color, what he'll do is he'll do like a joke. Like sometimes he won't say the name of the card that he pulled. He'll just do like a little like a bit of witty banter, and he'll allow you to guess what card it was, and it'll be obvious. Like, basically, a good Lotaria color will be doing, like, all kinds of jokes and stuff having to do with the cards that come up. So it's, like, entertainment, too. It's like game in a show. It's a little bit more interesting than bingo because bingo is just, like, B-14, you know? Whereas with Lotaria, if the guy knows what he's doing, he'll be making jokes and kind of entertaining the crowd the whole time while he does it. Assuming there's a crowd there. Usually it's, like, 85 old ladies. And so, anyways. Got that right there. Throw the apricot back inside of here because we're not going anywhere anytime soon. No, do not eat that apricot. That is the last thing that I want you to do. Put these inside of here so that we can do our thing later. We got the ghost fishes right there. Don't think we're going to need those anytime soon. Couple of geodes. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do right now. And so I'm going to think about it. I'm going to break off the episode right here. And give it some thought. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for the next episode. Put these in here too. Hold on. I'm going to put all our building supplies back inside the building. Thank you for joining me for the next episode 
of Stardew Valley. You thought it was gone, but no, Stardew Valley can never die. It's going to be here forever. I will see you all in future episodes. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you're still enjoying the series, and I look forward to seeing you all in future implementations of that series itself. Hi to everybody, and I will see you on the morrow.